Let's bring him out, shall we? A big warm round for Mark Stevenson! Because I thought, you know, like when you got a job and stuff, you think, oh, I've only had the time. I've only had the time, I could really devote it to something, and I really wanted to devote it to comedy. But, like, when you're unemployed, like, nothing happens. <laughs> Literally nothing happens. And I think, like, to be a good comedian, you need to be able to relate to people and communicate. And I don't think that many of you would have thought, maybe I have another bath. <laughs> <laughs> That'll kill an hour. <laughs> literally, literally the only thing of remark that happened to me the entire time was a while back, uh, when I was outside the British Library, I saw this big cockney man tell a wasp to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he just went, fuck off, you'll bang out of order, this is my son. <laughs> I assume he won because he didn't feel the need to continue. But, uh, <laughs> but as well, because like, I've, I've really thought in my head it was going to be like when I was a student, you know, because it's just freedom, isn't it? You know, that, all that time kind of gives you freedom. And, and being a student is pretty much, pretty much the best time of my life if, when I look back, you know, if I ignore like being a child or falling in love. And well, I haven't been on a cruise, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty good, but when you're unemployed, you're just lonely. You're just really lonely. And like when you do see your friends, my friends have started doing this thing now, uh, where when you go, oh, what are you up to? They just start bragging about what time they've gone to bed. It'll just be like, oh, oh I was in bed by half nine last night. <laughs> and I'm at that stage of life where I know it's no longer about sex. It's just, oh, I'm so successful, I can sleep. <laughs> But, but, you know, like, I'm, I had to leave my job because for about a year I was working in um, accounts or admin or something. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me, like, a computer and a state, you know, little clues, but... <laughs> but when I... I got to the stage where I was kind of debating it, so, like, what I did is I made a list of everything I liked about my job, you know, as you kind of do, so you get the pleasure of hearing that now. <laughs> Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes when I've got enough change in the pocket of my suit trousers and I'm walking across a hardened floor, it sounds a bit like I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Because I work with like 50 year old women, they're all kind of 50 year old women, they're very nice, but you know, what I kind of realised was like they've been working there so long that that soul destroying nature of the work really kind of got into them. And like, because whenever we'd have a conversation, it'd only ever go to one of two things uh, the lottery or cancer. <laughs> <laughs> As though they were the only viable ways out. <laughs> Don't you want to join the lottery, Mark? Don't you want to join? Oh, if we win, you'll be the only one here on Monday. No. <laughs> that way we'll both win, though, won't we? <laughs> oh, if I win the lottery, I'll still work. Just for the chats. <laughs> Just for the chats. <laughs> Personally, I think if I won the lottery, I'd buy a mountain of cocaine <laughs> and a revolver <laughs> and I'd wait. I'd just wait. <laughs> Maybe I'd get a wee as well, but... <laughs> I, also, 
also realised that there's no kind of polite way of telling someone to stop talking about their fucking children as well. So <laughs> that, that was. Uh, but no, like now I've got a job, so you know, forget about that bit. I've got a job. I'm happy now. So. Um, but I was kind of what I was worrying basically because I thought like you know being happy that was kind of like the mainstay of my material with like being unhappy and stuff like that. But but now you know like I'm living with my girlfriend. It's good. Like I come home from work in a good mood. And she's there, and like when I open the door and I see her, and the cat runs through, we look at each other and go, Oh, Bobby's got the early train. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's funny. Thank you very much, you've been charming. Uh,